Okay, before the video starts, this video is sponsored by Skillshare. I've been sponsored by them lots of times before, but I'll have the ad at the end. Why do I look like an alien? I had loads of plans to get up at like 9 a.m., be so productive, get loads of stuff done today. I'm waking up at 1 p.m. like literally every single day this week. And then I looked at my phone and it was 1 o'clock. Oh, you snooze, you lose. I didn't think it was that late. Cherry and Putty now. I don't know what this is. Oh, my tights! Yay. Yay! Oh my god, I thought they forgot to send them. Brilliant. Ah, my head is actually banging. Say it, okay? Yeah. Why is it Nigerian? Food in Nigeria. Well, in, 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 <laughs> no, I'm saying the Guinness though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, but it's Nigerian Guinness. What do you think? What? No, Nigerian. Oh my god, it tastes like I just took a shot of vodka. Oh, oh. it's really oh, fucking strong, but I don't get it. I'm scared. <laughs> Hold you on. sleepy little bitch. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Two. You sleepy little bitch. No, no, I'm scared. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> and pull her hand on. Like. Oh, That's how they do it. <laughs> oh, it's so good. Yo, yo, yo. Broccoli. Yeah. Broccoli. Marty Shores. I fucking love broccoli. Marty Shores. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are broccoli. You ready? Very cool. Whenever you see the two down oh. here, you know, you know what's good. Is it, obvi is it obvious that I'm holding a camera out the window? <laughs> oh my god, imagine them. they look so <laughs> I love her trousers. Yeah. I love her hair too. Fuck. Ew. Yum. Imagine I dropped this out the window. Oh. Yucky. Yum. Breakfast. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, baby. <laughs> oh, Colin Farrell. <laughs> oh, fuck. Has anyone seen the Colin, Colin Farrell sex tape? Anyone? Number one fans. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner, baby. <laughs> Get a photo with it. <laughs> yeah. That's where I sleep. It's a local tourist attraction. Oh, my God. <laughs> you don't. I'm absolutely willing. <laughs> I'm absolutely <laughs> fucked. Call me ma. What? You're not ugly. Oh, you're beautiful. Look at my flip. You're beautiful. I look like I look like Dolly Parton. <laughs> That's what you are, though. You are Dolly Parton. Are they in the cock house? Hey, don't you my my bussy, my punani. Don't you my punani? Is it in the cock house? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit drunk. I'm a bit drunk now. I didn't record when we were like with people because I thought that would be a, a bit inappropriate. I thought in my Uber home, I'd put a Q&A in my story. Also, Emer is off to a dick appointment, so I'm on my own. So I have Red Bull. As soon as I bought it in the shop, we were like friends with the shop owner downstairs, like me and Emer. Like we have a buzz off him. I'm like already on a buzz, even after just buying it. Someone goes, it's fucking 7 p.m., how you drunk? Like, obviously I was day drinking. Genuinely wish with you on Insta someday. What? I sent you a DM, what? You like Gary Barlow? What are these questions? How do Britons speak British? What? Emer or Kojak? I'm gonna have to pick Kojak because he's more, how, what would you call it, resourceful and would just like be able to look after me more. Oh, I don't know. I actually know Kev longer, so I was literally about to say I know Emer longer, so I'm gonna have to be loyal to her, but in fairness to Kev, I actually know him a lot longer, like probably two years longer than Emer, so I'm gonna have to go with Kev. Sex of Crocs on or off? On. Did you get Hollywood laser or bikini? Hollywood. How's London going? OMG. Good. So there's like a lot of drama that's been following me from Dublin to London, even though I'm not like, I actually genuinely, 
as as much as it looks like I'm addicted to drama, <laughs> fuck, like I'm fucking obsessed with like Love Ireland and that sort of stuff. Fucking hook it to my veins, really, to be honest. When it comes to me, if like I am involved in the drama, I'm allergic, literally allergic. If there's any beef with, if I have beef with someone, I just want it to be over with. I don't want to drag it out at all. I just hate it. But anyway, there's this guy who hates me. I don't know if I should be describing this in a in a YouTube video, but anyway, he hates me because he's like best friends with my ex boyfriend. Or he might hate me for other reasons, but I'm not actually sure why he does. I just, I'm not into that energy. I don't want to make anyone feel uncomfortable or step on anyone's toes. But I'm sure it'll be sorted out soon. That's probably like the meanest thing that's happened to me. Even in secondary school, like nothing like that ever happened to me where I was disinvited to a party or a group of girls were like, ew, don't invite her out. So drunk. Best plant make plant milk with cereal. Oat milk? My ex unblocked me but hasn't said anything. What do I do? Nothing. Literally nothing. Don't contact him, like, don't do anything. I got this question, what was I gonna answer? This one. So, you're a bit of a queen and I appreciate what you be doing a lot, thank you. Now this, obviously I really respect this question. I think it's really not obvious. Any other person would be like, oh my god, so, such a nice thing to get. Or I might just be suffering from imposter imposter syndrome. Genuinely, I cannot comprehend why someone would say this because genuinely I think of myself. I feel like I'm aware of stuff that I do or like if uh, I could be, I'm conscious of any sort of impact if I make, I make, if I make any. For the past like eight months or so, I don't actually believe I've done anything substantial in a long time. I understand that when I was a climate, like kind of on my climate activism buzz, I didn't mean to do the climate activism buzz in quotations. I just meant it in a sort of way where I'm not doing it anymore because the world is literally on fire. So I've kind of lost all motivation at the moment. Sorry to be a Debbie Downer, but the world is ending. Impending doom, imminent death. Anyway, enjoy the rest of the video. Peace and love. A few, like a year ago, I understand how I would have been making a difference and influencing people in some sort of positive way. But at the moment when I get those messages, I don't understand why people think I'm actually doing anything of substance or doing anything that's contributing to society at all. Because I genuinely, I'm just like getting drunk all the time. I'm probably a terrible influence. In response to that question, I don't understand why anyone would think that because I actually haven't done anything good in a while. I've just been straight vibing or been in my feel <laughs> in my feels so that's probably why I'm feeling a bit insecure about it or why I can't answer it. I feel like my accent is like completely different when I'm drunk. Like moving to London is such a buzz. I've made so many friends and it's so much more fun than Dublin even though I miss all my best friends obviously a lot. But the one thing we had London is everyone is well everyone I've kind of been in contact with I don't know if it's actually everyone or maybe just the people I'm surrounding myself with. Every single person I've been around is so young and so successful and obviously that's the vibe in London or the atmosphere that it creates that everyone's perpetuating success. What equates success is obviously like differentiates a lot from London and Dub Dublin because in Dublin a lot of the times success would mean making loads of money having like living on your own and that sort of thing pretty straightforward stuff in London it's like how many people have listened to your Spotify and if you have a famous song so if you're a famous musician basically it equals a lot more respect than someone who makes loads of money so it's like someone who's really creative or like famous artist you know which I obviously really respect and I love that sort of thing like I I'd equate success in a much different way than people in Dublin would I think success is making people feel good about themselves or having a good impact on people's lives or having a motive response from people. I'm actually so drunk. Yeah, a lot of people are like really, really successful here. Sometimes if you're in a room full of really successful young people, you're like, fuck, what have I actually done with my life? Literally nothing. You get a bit insecure initially, but then after a while you can't feel shit about yourself because a lot of people are in the same boat as you and a lot of people are feeling the same way that you do. I've stopped feeling guilty about it. Obviously I journal every day, so it's very quick for me to respond to stuff like that or notice when I'm making myself feel like that. Even though it's a waste of time, I shouldn't make my, be making myself feel shit because it's not actually productive or motivating me to work harder. It's just making me feel shit about myself. But I think though, because we are in a capitalist society, we're forced to think that doing all these things will make you feel successful or give you fulfillment when actually they don't. The only thing that gives you fulfillment is like being surrounded by people that you love. And that's kind of what I'm trying to 
pull off here. I'm not trying to, you know, get a million followers and be really, really famous. Even though the stuff that's, the opportunities that have arisen for me since I've moved here are really, really good. And obviously it's going to benefit my career a lot. I know that that's not going to give me f fulfillment because I know already from growing up and like journaling all the time, the stuff that gives me fulfillment is being surrounded by people that I love and making loads of friends and like having a good circle around me. So that's the kind of thing that I'm striving, striving towards. That was an absolute ramble. Yeah, I think you could get away with not sharing. I smell like barbecue sauce. Okay, this segment of the video is sponsored by Skillshare. They've sponsored me loads of times before. Thank you so much again for paying my rent. If you're not aware already, Skillshare is an online learning community for creatives that offer a combination of video lessons and class projects that suit your schedule. So you can do them at any time because they're all pre-recorded, so you can literally do it in the middle of the night if you can't sleep, that sort of shit. For the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description, we'll get a free trial of Skillshare uh, Premium Membership. But I'm pretty sure it's really affordable after that, and I think it's less than $10 a month if you get the annual membership. The one I've been watching at the moment is Plants at Home, Uplift Your Spirit and Your Space, top by Christopher Griffin or at Plant Queen because me and Emer would love to get some plants for the room but I can barely look after myself so I would need to watch something to know how to look after some plants too so they don't all die and there's loads of stuff on there like stuff for music, business, photoshop there's one on how to like drawing, making jewellery there's ones on tarot cards, loads on mental health as well so literally anything you want to learn about they have it so yeah thanks again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video again if you want a free the first thousand people to click the link in my bio get a free Skillshare premium membership thank you so much and thanks for watching like this video if you liked it. Good night. Uh, uh.